Is your game that tight? It sure is. But let's let's go look at this psychology of a more psychology in the art of thinking is ancient. It's nothing new. And the, what I'm showing you is nothing new either. People have taken variations of the exact same thing I'm showing you and are out there running, running circles around people because they know how thinking process works. Okay? And this is what we're gonna look at right now. All right, so if you wanna get you a piano out or something, maybe roll with me, wouldn't be bad either. All right, so we're gonna use the circle set. Or, yeah, are the logos. All right, so what you're looking at is love, uh, yeah, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And in the center there, which people perceive as a cross, everything, a lot of things are perspective. All right, because what you're actually looking at, I won't tell you right now, but let's let's draw this out real quick so I don't take up so much time. All right, so sometimes you guys, you know, it's time to start taking notes. Right. And so I'm darkening this for a little reason just in the center here. I'm going to draw a little circle around. All right. And this represents it. All right. So let me first, let me get the, um, this is your brain. Okay. Now, um, I could have used the full brain to do this. Hmm. What would that be? Anyway, this would be your brain, okay? So you got to remember you have two hemispheres, and that's what this line here represents, all right? And if you can just kind of remember, this will be your right hemisphere, and this will be your left hemisphere of your brain. Okay, so, <clears throat> but it's actually functioning in four distinct quadrants, right? Now, if I, I do have a picture of the brain itself, and maybe... Um, I'll be able to share that with you a little later. Let's see. Uh-oh. Let's see. Uh -oh. Okay. So anyway, let's get the parts of your brain and its understanding here and, and the basic functionings of what it really is, of what's kind of going on there. You can put other particular names in these particular um, areas if you just get a thesaurus, right? But this part of your brain over here, right, which this would be quadrant, let's just call this A, let's call this B, let's call this C, and let's call this D. Everything that you see too, this is the science. Now, most people have taken this science, right, and, you know, started doing the soothsayer things and telling you to come in, let them read your palm and let them make a reading on you and all these particular things. Well, it started somewhere. What's well, actually started in the temples of Egypt, you know, or Todd Mary, you know, all those particular things, right? And it's really not that difficult once you understand how the brain works and that there is a pattern where people come in. There's a thing called your birth chart or something like this. Like a lot of people use the natal birth chart. That's pretty good. You know, if it has a, a basic distinct character of you, because we've been here for so long and of so many 25,000 year cycles, remember our flag is over 50,000 years old, right? Or 50,000 years old. So that is at least two cycles of 25,000 year cycles. So thousands and thousands of people have come in through that 25,000 year cycle where we are able to write down characteristics of people coming in under this particular month, moon, ETC. I'll have these characteristics, all right? There's nothing wrong with that, but when you start moving it further into, you know, this spooky stuff, this is when you are trying to fleece the person just to get you some money. All right, so anyway, so everybody has a particular characteristic of their nature, of their base nature. Some people, you know, are, we can just use the Zodiac, I guess, Leos to Scorpios to whatever. I don't like using that stuff because it's been so down degraded. But I'm just using this for a point of reference to get you to say that everyone has a personality that they come in with. But this, what you're looking at though, is a model of your brain. So if the prophet says he needs to get you to think, there's a process that your brain takes 
right? And remember what we read Friday, you are not the brain. There is no thinking in bone or in flesh. So there's no real thinking in that particular um, organ or what we call, you know, the brain, but it is actually the spark of the soul part of, you know, the eternal part of you that's getting the body to actuate itself. Most people are going on instinct. You're not an animal, even though your body wants to start treating you that way. You're, you are the higher self indwelling. You understand? And we're going to get there in a second. Although you've been dumbed down to a European psychology. So therefore you need to come back to your science, even though people have stolen your stuff and making some stuff out there, it's still yours. So don't be afraid of it and don't be afraid to take your stuff back. Like your righteous mind. All right, so on this diagram here, you have the left hemisphere and you have the right hemisphere. Okay, you have love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Love is in the center. Love is in the center for a reason. Most people, let's take myself for an example. I will come, I come in, on the birth natal chart, as ones might say it, or whatever, right? But I look at this, this is science. All right, so let me just put these things real quick. So that's, please excuse the spelling, right? This is your experimental self or the, the future, you know, this looks at the future. Right? This part of your brain is the intellectual part. All right, this pen is kind of sloppy, excuse me. This is that safekeeper part of you or the organizer. This part of you is your emotional or, you know, the, um, you know, the feeling part of yourself. Now, everything, th these parts are important, but what I'm about to show you right this moment is probably the most important part of this, because this is what your brain is constantly doing. Your brain's asking what? It's asking why, all right? It's asking who, and it's asking how all the time. All the time. No matter what you do, no matter what you're going through, no matter how you're perceiving your reality, this is what your brain is, it will proceed to give you what reality is. It's constantly asking what, why, who, and how. But due to the fact, this part over here, this emotional part, of course we're gonna deal with that because most black people who consider themselves black and who has a European psychology have been trained to be stuck in only two parts of their brain. And for men, it's damaging because it's on the right side, because that's where they can manipulate you the most. So this part of your brain, which is the future part, or it is the why part, it's actually, it's known as the experimental part, all right, or C, right? So that'll be like C, quadrant C. This part also is brings purpose. This is the why, the future. What am I doing in my life? What is my purpose? You know what I'm saying? Why am I here in other words? That's what that part is. Always, why am I here? What is the purpose of this? What's the future? And it also can be subject to being, you know, irrational because it, 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 be, it, it gets to um, speculate. It's due to speculate. This part is extremely, you gotta be careful with this part because it goes to speculation. It's a speculative part of you because it's the holistic, creative, intuitive, visionary part of you. That's why it's good to get yourself a thesaurus so you can open up your vocabulary to explain parts of you. That's why it's good to have language. 
not trying to be, ooh, look at the big words people use. That's the excuse of a lazy person who, who, who feels inferior to the other person. And you know where they're at on this scale right here? All in D. They're in D. They're in their emotional part of their brain, which is very, which is very uh, important to understand, but it's very dangerous too because of the limbic system. So this is science over here along with this whole spiritual, because the spirit, you're dealing with it. You are spirit, man. So what's your hang up? It's your soul going through its experiences. The spirit part of you can see it coming, but you be blocking it. Still small voice. You, you be blocking your heart, the nearest place you can meet Allah. And how do you block him? By not understanding how your own, the brain works, which is the fleshly part of you, which can be the carnal part of you, which Allah said is the part that tore you away from him. That carnality part. You know what I'm saying? That low part, that fleshly part. That's like they say in Christian churches, the flesh, that flesh. Nothing wrong with that, understanding that. All right, so, so once you, but let's look at the, the basics here. The why, the who, the how, and the what. Because if you don't answer every single, if you were trying to get somewhere in life, or you're trying to deal with a situation such as a bad marriage, such as a bad son, a bad daughter, or a, 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 a lack of purpose to the family, we just seem to be stagnated. What's going on? Or, or all that. <laughs> yeah. See, it deals with this, what I'm showing you right now. Because everything, what I'm showing you is the, is the part of your brain. Everything you see around you comes from the functioning of your brain. Even the pen you holding in your hand, the clothes you got on your back, the weave you didn't move into your head, you know what I'm saying? The turban you got on and glasses you got on, you know what I'm saying? That, that cup you sipping on, all of those particular things came from somebody's brain and its operation. And due to the fact you're using it, they were able to utilize all of their brain to get it done with a purpose. So how come you can't get things done? Why can't black people, why don't black people own their own bank? Oh, black people got it together though, huh? How black people got it together when they still giving somebody else their damn money? Walking up into banks, they don't even know, talk about the Europeans, the bad guy, but you sure walking up in there giving your money though. You sure call him when your doctor, when you need a doctor though, because you can't do these things for yourself. Why can't you be the best doctor? Why can't you be the best banker? Why you always got to think he's the best? Because you got a, a particular psychology that doesn't allow you to think that you can do a thing better than anyone else. And this is your problem, not their problem, for they got themselves a bank. But you want to blame them. What it is, you're getting jealous. You're jealous of them more than any damn thing. Because you don't seem to want to get your own thing. As soon as a brother come along telling you how to get it, the first thing you want to do is tear him down to the level which you can comprehend. When you got a damn European psychology, what you comprehending around here? So this method of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice that came from a man who came looking like us, talking like us, and raised himself and raised an entire nation of people who no one yet has come along and did the things that Noble Drew Ali done. So if this psychology ain't fitting you, then get the hell off this line. You don't need to be here. Ain't nobody forcing you. Getting a feeling around here to, with, with some of you ones. Like somebody told you to be on this line right now. Nah. So look at this and peep it out, man, and get some salvation and learn how to think around here. Because if you was thinking we have our own banks, our own distribution centers, if you were thinking we have our own hospitals where we ain't got to rely on nobody to tell us about no damn vaccine, we can understand the psychology of, of the vaccination itself and have our own damn instruments to tell us what's right and what's wrong. It's wrong. We ain't got to sit here mad at nobody. We ain't got to be hating on nobody because we have our own. We can compete with everybody else because we're utilizing our own from the point of view of our ancestors. We don't got to believe we black, but has no standing in law, has no nothing around here. But you want to tell me that you, you, you thinking? 
You ain't thinking. You don't even know how to think. That's the problem. You don't know how your brain works. You're allowing the television to tell you what to do. Please get this. Now, there are two parts to your hemisphere, the right, the right side and the left side, but there are quadrants here. There is a part of you that's always asking why. That is the experimental part. That is the future part of you. That is it. That's the, um, the, uh, the innovative, the holistic, the conceptual, the synthesizing. This is the visionary you. This is the bold you that pushes through what other people can't see. Sees the big picture, that part. So some people are naturally like that. Some people naturally have those capabilities. But well, that's that part with your birth natal or whatever, right? But then you could be a little bit vague. See, that part also leads you susceptible to being flaky if you don't know how to strengthen things up. It also uh, is sloppy people. See, people who come in like that, if they're not trained properly to use the other part of their brain, which is the organized part, right? See, here you go. See, if you're over here, your balance is over here. If you come in over here, and we're going to get to it, your balance is over here. If you come in a deep, where you're emotional, emotional persons, everybody got emotion, everybody got feelings, but there are certain people who are more social. There are other people who do good at what is known as human resources, right? Communications. That's the D people who, who know how to utilize their public relations. They get along with people. They, they enjoy communicating with people and stuff like that. These particular people come in at the D part, which we know as the emotional part, the talkative part, the communicative part, the cognitive, you know, those are musicians or like these nurses, teachers, politicians. Well, that's the natural part you come in. But most sometimes, though, those particular people are subject to be oversensitive, unbusinesslike, too sentimental, and they talk too damn much. Because they don't go and balance it out, which would be A, which is the intellectual you, also known as the rational you, the one that needs reasoning. See, most Black people don't, they, it's, they, not, not all of them, not everyone either. But I have to get the general so that we can understand what's going on. All right. So, I mean, the, the collective mindset instead of individual people. Well, that person, that, man, you can find individuals that don't do things and everything. Okay? We're talking the collective mindset here. All right. So a lot of Black people are in D, in their in C. They're in the fantasy of what could be. Oh, I can, I can be a, I can be a, nothing wrong with that. But they get stuck there. And then the emotional part, right? Because of trauma, childhood trauma, sometimes has them stuck where they need to be more in A, rational. Ask the what, the what question. See, the who, the who question always deals with social. Who is that, right? Who, straight up, the who's mostly social. The what is trying to get to the rationality of the thing. Okay? The why is like the future. It's it's the possibility. Or it is the purpose. Because why is purpose. It asks about the purpose. It asks for it asks for what reason is things going down? Give me something. What is my purpose? What am I doing? All right. So. When you're too emotional, or when you be think things are, when someone says, you know, you're a little too sensitive. Sometimes we gotta get our feelings off our shoulder and be like, you think I am? All right, so that means, what do I need to do in my brain? Because it's trying to get me there. What am I blocking? I'm blocking by looking at the more rationale of things. What's the real reality before I go off on a tangent? That's the part that you need to exercise that you don't. You need to be more rational in your thinking. You need to be more fact-based in what you particular are going after. You know why businesses don't work? Two reasons. It's a crappy, it's a crappy business. And then people don't know how to uh, util uh, express and utilize their overall vision 
to where it becomes a reality. It only becomes a reality when the what, the when, excuse me, the what, the why, the who, and how is answered. When you answer those things, you move forward in everything in life. All right? You guys, are you guys with me or what? So far. All the way. It's long. It's long. All right. So this is, so the part that I'm really trying to get you to see this for this first part before we get, because this thing will start to get dynamic more and more. Because you're going to put not only the good characteristics in quadrant A, but you're also going to put the bad characteristics in quadrant A so that you can see your weaknesses. How then do you balance off your weakness? It is by challenging the what? It's by challenging the who? It's by moving to these particular parts that you are not asking, you are not going to. Sometimes, like I said, it's because the what brings up trauma sometimes. And then the lower self, known as the limbic system, is going to move you to what is known as pleasure. And most of the time that's drinking, drugs, sex, or food. This is why these are the things most abused in the black community. Because the thinking process is not allowed to continue to go because of certain trauma. Although it's constantly asking, what happened to me? Who did it? How was it done? Why is it, why? You know, these things are constantly going on. And, and, and if you don't answer them, you will go into a psychosis. You will begin to see reality only from a speculative point of view. You'll begin to see reality where uh, uh, it's not practical. And then you get stuck there thinking you know something. Because you don't want to challenge the organization part about you. Right? If you're too flaky, you need to go into quadrant B, the safekeeper, the organizer, the former. This is the administrative you. It's always trying to get you to plan something, to structure what you're doing. Most people don't go there. They think it's supposed to happen by osmosis or something. But the brain is constantly saying, please structure what you're telling me. And if you don't do it, this is why you don't accomplish the damn thing you're looking for. If you, so you, you may have a vision. I could be the best whoop de whoop. I have this best brand. I, I, I'm the greatest singer or I'm, I'm a good lover. I'm a great, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna bring a good family. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be the best for my, my wife. I want her to feel on every level that she is good and secure. When she need, I'm near, I'm hitting it. You know what I'm saying? When she need to go out, I'm going out. When we need to do a specific thing, if it's reasonable though, this is where the commander comes in. You gotta remember how to use your whole brain even with your wife, man. Because sometimes she is not in her reasonable. She's not being reasonable for some time. Why? Because we understand the majority of women, everything from their five senses is coming in and being understood from the right side of the brain first. And then for the men, it's the left side. Therefore, there is a, a tendency to be not reasonable, but there, I mean, excuse me, yes, not reasonable. But there is a tendency to be reasonable, not, not saying it can't be done. And most women will get there quicker than men because they have a locus callosum where they can move to both sides of the hemisphere quicker than men. Although, without the proper conscious, not subconscious, but conscious understanding of how it works, where you are able to move there at will and use the functionings of this formula that you are now getting, L times T, P over F will always equal J. D formula to solve everything. that you're going through. But these love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice are parts of your brain, what you think it was a part of. Some mystical, magical thing out there? No, concepts, words are all there to describe what's going on in your brain. 
and the lick and the and the more you are able to describe the more you are able to comprehend thus is the reason why vocabulary is so necessary oh i just i just uh, uh i just wants to you know the, the the that that what we'll call regular hood talk is cool when we feeling good when we kicking back but when it comes to business you got to be on your A game, as it said, which is the A quadrant of your brain, which means the more rational, because so we're dealing with other people's money and my money. You need to understand that the safekeeper needs to come in a little bit more, the organizer, the planner, the administrator. Why? Because you got a family to feed, man. Can't be over here fantasizing all damn time playing video games all in a fantasy land without any safekeeping going down, which is the opposite side of one who's always in a fantasy. There's no organization there. They're not exercising or they're not willing to allow the energy, the electromagnetic energy impulses in their brain to move around that is trying to do. You stopping it, blocking it, wondering why you're blocked. Wondering why you got stagnation. See, because it's fine when you understand how it works. So the so the D side, if you want to fill in a little bit, these are this is the feelings. This is you know feeling energy. This is that spiritual too. That's why women are extremely intuitive to the spiritual plane and the holistic plane. This is why they know, you know, if they've been with you for a while, they'll get a feeling something about to go down before you get a feeling. And then they calling you, everything all right? Right before you cheat on her, she calling you. Because you didn't send out a cheat vibe, homie. And she's got your vibration. You got her vibration. She knows what just going down, just like you do. <laughs> but anyway, we'll, that, we'll deal with that a little bit later. So over here are the communicator types. Communication, you know, musicians, nurses, teachers, politicians, ETC. Right. But the, 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 the other side of this, right, kind of over here, you want to also understand that you can be unbusiness like if you get stuck over here too much. You can be overly sensitive, talk too much, like I said, you know, too sentimental, un, not rational enough in your thinking. Just, you know, you, you, you just fly off the handle too quick or you break down, you start crying, you know, you know, you oh, because you're not moving yourself. If you indeed, if you're a kind of emotional person, nothing wrong with that. But you got to remember your balance. Your balance, if you are here, is A. Now, what is A? A is the fact base. It's always asking for the facts. It's always asking for reason. It's always asking for... Um, uh, 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 uh. Can I see the facts? Can you give me some relative fact about what you're saying? You know, to prove that it's real. That's what this, that, that A part of your brain does. It's the intellectual part. You know, what's going on? You know, what is that? So the safekeeper or the organizer is like I said before, it's the one that's the administrator of you. Him. It's the administrator, like I said, the organizer, the planner, structure. This one loves structure over here. This one loves to be organized, things practical. This is the practical you, right? Now, the sisters be over here a lot. They need things, you know, that practical, the safekeeping, sisters want to be protected. You want to know two things. Can you protect me? And are you financially good so that we ain't going to go broke when you hit me up with all these children? We get these children. 
Like, if you can't take care of them two things, then man, you, you're not gonna get yourself a happy marriage. All right? So the things about that is, is how you get there is by the, the lessons that I'm now showing you. You don't have to be stuck not knowing what to do. If you're stuck not knowing what to do, you need to go over here to see. This is the experimental you, the innovative you. There's no reason for you to be stuck, but the, but you gotta watch by going to in dreamlike fantasy and see. But it is the part when you get stuck, that's where you go. The innovative you, you start asking the whys and you know, why can't I go forward? Why is that, you know, you know, I can do this. Right, and then you begin to architect things around you are innovate or the visionary and then you strategize. The real good one for this is a strategy, a strategizer. Right, strategy, strategizer, you know, right? And, but remember it's downside, you can be vague, you know, people who are, you know, impulsive, extreme impulsiveness comes with C. So if you're an impulsive person and you're kind of rash, and you're oblivious to others' feelings. You can be this guy, you know, intolerant sometimes, <laughs> ambiguous to people's, you know, certain particular things. That's this guy over here, too. The, but the other flip side, this is the person that sees the big picture. You can see, right? Like I told you before, this is the strategizer, the big picture seer. But anyway, the flip side of this particular person, if you're daydreaming, if you're too vague, if you can't focus, if you can't, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you just always kind of just rash, moving on impulse out there, then you need to come over here into your balance, which is what? The organizer. Is it making sense with y'all? Y'all don't keep going over and over. No, we no, we no, no. Gratitude. So, hey, Grand Chairman. Islam, Gringo. Any questions so far? But please, yes, add on, y'all. Add on with me. I would just add, Islam, that um, the organizer is the doer. So, you know, you got to get up and get out and do something. That's how you balance out the thinking and the dreaming. That's right. When you actually activate the physicality and the manifest. That's yeah. actually, that's what God is, is thinking, the thought, flowering into a, a seed and, and fruiting. Becoming fruition. Now that's the middle you. That's Only the gonna happen if you do something. Islam. Islamism. So let me say from what you said here. So most people will come in on the B, D, and C. You have to move yourself if you are a safe keeper organizing person because that's your personality. To really effectively work your brain, you gotta move from B to the C or you gotta move from freedom. You know, freedom is always asking how. It's the safe keeper, free. It's gonna be how are we safe? How are we, you know, are we sure we free? Explain yeah. right? Yeah. Now, keep game, keep game. So if you're there, you gotta move yourself to the center and work from air. See, at the center, you're you're touching every one of yeah. these corners. Are y'all seeing this? Please put your mics on mute for a minute until you have a question, please. All right. So you have to move yourself. If you are a T person or a person who's rational, which would be like a, a person who loves numbers and accountant and architects or people, oh, not architects, but engineers, you know what I'm saying? Mechanical engineers, analysis, technicians, this with these people, right? But if you're naturally here, but to cure this, to get an understanding of this model, you got to move yourself to L or to love or to seven. That's actually a seven, any way you look at it. You guys see this little thing here in the middle here, right here, right? That's a seven, our love. Any way you look at it from any point, it's still gonna say a seven or love. So your um, your love point, you need to move from to the point of love or to the point of the center because love allows you to activate all of these. Without love, none of these would activate anyone, all right? So, because love is our lot. Now, so, once you understand to move to the center, you're touching every one of, you know what I'm saying? This circle is still touching every one of these in its proper order and utilizing it as it needs. It's not too feeling, it's not too stressed out, but it's still, it's still being able, it's still having a balance and knowing how to relationships are over here. Because you still know how to relate that's social, 
that is the who, that is the emotional part of you. Most people are lacking. A lot of people who are technical and engineers, they lack the social part. They don't. They, they lack on how to be a little bit more empathetic to other people. They can have fun, but certain times they're lacking it. And so, because they're too rigid, because they become too eggheaded, they became too short, short-sighted. They, oh, I, only, I can only get. I'm only going to see the facts. Give a damn what you say. <laughs> you ever met that person? So anyway, what they're lacking is is the uh, is the pea or the peace. They're lacking peace. Peace is always emotional part. Because peace, you must be in peace with yourself first. And usually what brings you out of peace is your disabled emotions. You understand it? So, you know, you could be P, right? Now P is where you at. You have to move that that becomes you know it becomes love so p needs to be multiplied by your love and if you need to be balanced there then you most definitely because p is only balanced with t or truth all right but once you get there your why or your future thing is going to be answered because this the the j here or the uh, justice this is actually the um the results too remember justice is result the why is the future. You're looking for a result. That's why justice is the future. It's also the past. But you're also, so it's asking, you know, you're looking for the result here. So what you're going to have to do, right, is first and foremost, you may have to, you know, you're already this particular person, so you're getting your social together. But, you know, you need more facts of what it is you're trying to do or what's going on with me. So you begin to look deeper within yourself. And then you come to the pinpoint, man, I was molested. So now that's a fact. Now, how, and then what happens is a few things, certain feelings come up. The limbic system want to move you to somewhere. You can't let that happen. Because this relationship you're talking about is with yourself first. It's your brain you're talking about. All right, so if you was molested, you cannot move the limbic system to move you into somewhere because the molestation part is very traumatized to the mind. Therefore, the limbic system say, no, 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 don't think about that. Go smoke a cigarette. Go, go have a beer. Go smoke a blunt. Go have some sex. Go eat a little bit. Go have some ice cream. Go, go on the phone and start an argument with somebody. Anything to move you away from facing the damn reality of what that happened. That's why it's so dangerous. So the facts are you were molested. Right? The, to get to the peace, you must first go to the safekeeper. You gotta start structure planning what's going on here. You know, you gotta really ask, how do I heal myself? After you find out what's going on, I was molested by who? So it automatically goes back to the P again. Who did that? Well, how do I heal myself? And of course that why did they do that and all that, but when I am healed or um, have I, these are the why questions. Have I, have I the strength, right? So. You gotta always then have I has to move down to how. How then? How 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 am I the best? How do I have the strength? How can I overcome this? What what tools do I need? The reason kicks in. And why am I trying to do this so I can heal? So I can move forward to the possibilities of life because this is the future. And my future's blocked because I can't seem to get by. How do I overcome this? Some people can't even get by. Who did it? Who? Well, why am I feeling like this? What's going on? And it's you all the time. It's you. Who? You. It's the hard part. Even though someone's done something to you, it's still you stuck. It's the hard part to understand. 
even though someone's done something to you and you want to blame somebody, yes, rightfully so, which was the cause, but you are living in the effect. And the only way to get out of the effect is to start being the cause again to your reality and causes to reality always answer the four fundamental questions of everything that there is. These are the four fundamental questions. Now you can put a win in there, but that's after a fact. That's why it's so important for you to know your grammar. All right, so now let's go look at this in real life from the point of view of our brother Jesus. From the point of view of things that you do all the time, but now you don't become conscious of the things that this is. See, this is a conscious matter. This is conscious, not long, the subconscious to kind of move, but I am consciously, you know, oh, I'm feeling a particular way. Okay, what am I? Mm, am I in my emotions right now? Why? What's going on here? Or what's going on? Then I start getting the reason why am I feeling this way? Why am I feeling bad? What's going on with that? And how long has I got the loudest to go down? How long do I got to allow every single month to come along? I feel a certain way. And what the hell is making me feel that way? That I gotta go off or, or everything be going good. Next thing I know, I'm down in the dumps and I didn't sabotage my shit. Excuse my French. Pardon me. Well, so what is that? What's going on? Why is this happening to me? Who is, it? it's me obviously, how? What is the reason? Everything you do in life, you're asking those questions. Why she do that? What does she think about this? What does he think? How would he like that? How would she like that? How would my boss like that? Who's going to be affected by this? How do we do a particular thing? In what way did that particular thing happen that caused me to be right here? If I do this, what will be, what will be the outcome? I'm looking to get a million, a hundred million dollars. How? By what means? You know what I mean? And if you ain't asked the why, or why you need a hundred million, you'll never get the hundred million. You'll never get it because you don't even know why you want it. You just want it because you saw it on TV. That's not a reason because someone else has it. Your mind will be like that's theirs subconsciously. It ain't enough for you to see somebody with something good. You have to define why is it good for me? And then how am I able to move there? Am I living in a fantasy? Think I can just pop a million without doing something? 